Jody. I am going to show you today how to do a very basic women's haircut. I'm also going to show you how to straighten it so that you don't have flat hair. And I'm going to show you how the two and two go, to go, go together very well. So first we're going to start off by taking out this messy bun. I wash my hair at night. I sleep on it wet. Let it dry a little bit so you're not cold or, or get a cold. Then you take it down and it's still damp enough that you can dry it a little bit and, and uh, style it more easily than if you let it dry completely and it's all crunchy. Um, so it's just damp. It, it saves you a step for heat processing. You can um, blow dry it still, but it's gonna, it's gonna take a lot less time to blow dry it this wet than it would be straight out of the shower. So I always wash my hair at night sleep on it wet or, or semi-wet, I usually tie it up, and then blow dry it and then style. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna go over it real quick with the blow dryer. Uh, you'll see how huge my hair gets. So at the end of the video, I'll show you the two things that I use on my hair that I swear by and it'd be I'd be hard pressed to change my mind on it. So drying it out of the wet messy bun or damp messy bun is going to help you with frizz. If you if you blow dried it straight out of the shower, it would be more frizzy, and it really really cuts down on your heat time. So for example, I know I fast forwarded through that so that you're not bored, but it took me about a minute and a half to dry my hair, and I have a ton of hair. So if you blow dried it straight from the wet shower, it would take at least 10 to 15 minutes. So really really cuts down on your um, drying time, heat time. So now we're going to get to straightening. The key to straightening curly or wavy hair well without making it flat is two things. Proper sectioning and proper pieces. You don't want to just start and go like this very quickly. You don't want to start on top. You always want to start on the bottom. Work your way up. So we're going to section off into a just a small piece here. Tie it up. This should be two or three sections. Okay, the key to not getting flat, straight hair is to pull away from the scalp at a 90 degree angle. So my scalp and you're going to round it off at the end here. Go very slowly. If you do this, it's going to get frizzy, it's going to rip, it's going to tear, it's going to make your hair awful, and you're actually going to have more heat on your hair than if you just went over it slowly once, maybe twice. So your hair starts here, your scalp's here. So 90 degrees from that is out. Always go 90 degrees out from wherever your head is. So on top, you're going to go here. Side, you're going to go here. Down here, you're gonna go here. That's gonna get you a nice rounded shape instead of this weird flat, too straight. If you have curly hair, you know what I mean. Too straight is a thing. So, 90 degrees out from your scalp. Go nice and slow, curve at the end. So there you go. Pretty darn straight, I only went over each piece once. Round it at the ends, if you don't round it at the ends, it's gonna look dry and dead very quickly. So, section into the next piece. We're gonna section, 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 small pieces all the way up. I'll stop it, I'll fast forward through this. So you're not bored. But we're going to section and keep moving. Switching to a brush, I'm going getting up to thicker pieces here. So another trick is to, as you brush it, you pinch at the base of the brush and it holds your hair nice and taut as you go down. Remember, 
90 degrees from the shape of your head. So once you're over your ears, you're gonna basically go straight out. Again, you should only be going over it once, maybe twice. And it should get pretty darn straight. Um, this is gonna be straight enough to, well, one, wear it out. And it's gonna be straight enough to cut it. You are gonna want to cut it dry. If you cut your own hair wet, you will have more, um, more errors. And then you're gonna have to finish it off by cutting some pieces dry anyway, so you might as well cut the whole thing dry. But to do that, you need to have it straight. Once you get to this top portion, they call it the crown. Obvious reasons, this is where a crown would sit. So you're gonna go where you're gonna part your hair. If you part your hair in the middle, you have a ways to go. But if you part your hair on the side or drastically on the side like I do, you're going to want to part that now. I like to start on the side and go towards the back of the hair, uh, the back of the head. So it's kind of an angle. You're gonna section this back off and then start in the back and again opposite direction of your scalp go out hold your hair taut with your finger on the edge of the brush pinch like this straight away from your head back now for this mohawk area, pull this over to the side and do smaller sections. It's it usually you want the top part to look really, really good. That's what you're going to see the most. That's the part that needs to be the most sleek. That's the part you're probably going to want to go over twice. So start in the back, smaller sections, small, 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 straight up and back. So now you're going to go to the front. Take out the first half an inch or inch and for the rest back, your bangs or long bangs, whatever you have. These are going to go straight up. So pull completely away from your face, straight up, like, your, like an extension of your forehead. Straight up, out, and over. Straight up, out, and over. Put your brush here so they don't fall completely. You want to pull them off. Kind of the idea of old school hot rollers. It cools off where it is. It's going to keep your volume. It's not going to fall in your face or be flat. You get a nice little loop. and then go side to side. Again, make sure this top portion is done better than the rest of your hair because it's what's gonna show first. If you have to go over those pieces a few times, do it. pretty straight. Now to move on for the cut. So this haircut is for people who have longish hair and mine is very thick so the things I'm going to tell you are for thick hair. Um, I'll also throw in there a few things for thin hair. Uh, so we're going to start with the perimeter. 
get your hair where you want it to lay. If you part it in different areas, you're going to want to cut two different things. You're going to cut like this, and then you're going to flip it and cut like this, because then anywhere you put it, you're not going to have one piece hanging down long on either side. I always part my hair in the same direction because you can see it, it doesn't work. <laughs> so, um, start with the perimeter. You're going to go over your ears. Make sure you get behind your ear there. Pull this down nice and straight. If you, I'm assuming you had a good haircut last time, I'm assuming you went to your favorite salon, you'll have somewhat of a guide to see, unless your hair grew really weird in a weird shape. Shorter haircut, that doesn't always work. You, there's not always a guide because different areas need to be cut shorter or longer for shorter haircuts. Long haircut, you're gonna have a basic guide here. So now, the tip, the trick to having a natural looking haircut and not some weird, uh, I know your hair looks good right when you get out of the salon, but there's a difference between the way your hair naturally grows and naturally starts to lay and you say, oh, my hair's just starting to look good, it's been a week. So your hair does not grow blunt like this. Your hair grows like this, where it's all different lengths. If you can do that, if you can achieve that during your haircut, you're gonna have really natural looking hair. So the way you do that is a few different tricks. Remember, go over your ear, don't have anything stuck behind your ear. You're going to do two things. You're going to you can cut straight across for your basic cut. And then point cut in just these little tiny triangles. That will help your hair lay more naturally. If you want to go a step further than that, you're going to hold it a few inches up and you're going to hack into it a little bit. So a few upward motions like that. Brush it after because you're going to be covered in hair if you don't. That'll thin the ends just slightly and make it lay more naturally. Okay, keep moving around. You're going to section in about five sections. So you want to twist your neck so that it's you're pulling straight from where it would grow. You're going to pinch and then you can pull up. You can move this wherever you want and it's gonna stay where you need to cut it. That's how you cut the back. So if I were to pull it forward and try to look at it, it would be all uneven. You'd lay it back down and it'd be a crooked. So you're going to pull straight, straight, straight down from where it grows. Make sure to get underneath here too. Straight down. Get your fingers where you want them. And then pull it up. You can see where you're going to cut. So, slightly blunt. Point. Do the same again. Pull it down. But this time you're going to grab a few inches up. Pull up into it a little bit. Brush that out because that is loose hair. Okay. So we did this side already. Now, again here. So you're doing five sections. You're going to do here, 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 and here. This will give you your basic so like I said, if your hair is thinner, the blunt might be good for you. But if your hair is curly, the blunt is not good for you. Now the back section, you're going to give yourself a double chin and do this. If you don't have a double chin, you're not doing it right. My sister and I talk on FaceTime sometimes like this, just for fun. So. You're going to pull straight 
down, straight, straight, straight down, and then pull up into the side. This way you can see where you're gonna be. Again, double chin. Straight down and over. You can see there's a few loose ones that I missed. So, blunt, and then point cut it. Just hack into it just a little, and then Back into it a little deeper. So there's always a saying that curly hair people never want to go to a curly hair or to a straight hair stylist. There's a reason for that because there's so many things with curly hair that you don't realize unless you grew up with it and your hair was frizzy and your mom cried at you because she didn't know what to do with your big poofy mess. So all of your pictures from the 80s look like a lion's mane. So, your basic cut is done. You're gonna get a mirror and you're gonna check the back and make sure it's about where you want it. Now, if you wanted a blunt cut, that would be it. Blunt blunt is actually one of the harder cuts to do because there's very little room for error. If you give yourself a little bit of thinning on the ends like I did, and some little layers, you're gonna have a lot more leeway, a lot more leeway to mess up on the way it lays. So for your first set of layers, you wanna section your hair again, right about at your ear. You're gonna pull these out away from the way your hair grows. Like this, you're gonna have this nice soft little waterfall and you're going to here I'll show you the blunt on this one so you cut blunt you're gonna lay that down and you're gonna see every little line you don't want that you just want your hair to lay softer I have what I call if your hair is curly if you flatten it too much on top, which a lot of stylists do if they have straight hair and they don't know that you need a little bit of volume, you're used to your hair being poofy. If you flatten it to your face, you don't look like yourself. You get home and you say, oh, I hate the way that the stylist did my hair. So if you, if you have a little bit of volume, like your hair normally does, roll with what you have. So if they cut it blunt like this and they flatten it here, especially if you wear it curly, it's what I call cocker spaniel ears. It's where you're flat on top and you have these weird little curly things right here. Go look at a picture of a cocker spaniel. That's what it looks like. You don't want it. You want to look more like an egg, like volume here, thinning out a little bit on the end so it's not so poofy on the bottom. So you can see the blunt doesn't work. So you're gonna hold it out again. Do a couple of points in there and then hack into it just a little. So look at the difference. It's going to lay much more soft. You're not going to see any harsh lines. No cocker spaniel ears. So next section. Again, we're going to do fives. Next section. Pull the whole thing out. If you section, you're not going to be you're not going to know where you cut the time before, so don't section in 500 sections. It's not worth it. Let the professionals do that, but for your own, if you're just wanting the tips of your hair to not look dead, do in five sections. So blunt and then point, little triangles, pull it out again. Same on this side. Again, if you part your hair in two different areas, you need to do this. 
I'm going to go on one side and cut, flip it to the other side and cut. But if you part it in the exact same spot every time, you're fine. So for these, these little thin and hack into it things, you're going to just cut into the hair like this, straight in, not at an angle at all, you'll get a big chunk out of your hair. And you're gonna go little snips like this. If you snip, 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 you're gonna cut a big chunk of your hair out. You just want just little snips. So, section number five, you're gonna start at the top of your head because if any of this falls back here and it winds up being longer than your hair, you're messed up. So, you're gonna start up here. Section five is, is the back of your mohawk. The whole thing, pull it out. Pull it out and pull it straight back and up. Just cut off these little things. Point. And then pull it out again. Let it drape. Following like a waterfall and hack into it just a little bit. Again, don't chomp. Just like that. Brush that out. If you don't brush it out, you're going to have hair everywhere. All over your pillow. Everywhere because you don't want to have to wash this and style it again, you already did. So, once you're done with this, you're gonna cut anything that you want in front. If you want bangs, that'll have to be a different tutorial because I don't currently have bangs. If you want these long pieces here, you're gonna cut this section, you're gonna out in front and let it hang. Point and hack. And that's it. Lays nice and soft, blends in. If you want it blending all the way down, take a bigger section, pull this back because this will fall into it. You're going to pull this back. So basically, tell your side of your head here. If you want not a separation, you can pull this out and blend it completely here and then you'll get a nice little curve here. I like mine a little more separated. So there you have it. Your basic, long, little bit of layers. Haircut for curly or slightly curly hair. Now, I like to go over it and kind of finish it off you're gonna to wanna to blow dry a little bit because that will get rid of all the loose hair in here. You really wanna do it. Even if you don't feel like you have any loose, you do. Blow dry it for just a minute. If you wanna go straight from there, you're good. You're, you're good to go. Now, before you style your hair, you want to change at this point. You have hair all over. If you are cake, that's fine. Now is the time to change. After you blow dry your hair out, you wanna do that. You want to change your shirt and then you want to blow it out just a little bit again. That way you're not going to have hair all over your clothes. Be right back. Okay, after you change your clothes, if you still feel like you're itchy or hairy, blow it out one more time. Now to finish it off, I like to do something that just bumps the style up just, just a little. Again, pulling away, away from the scalp, not down. Away from the scalp, start up here. Start to twist until you get everything in. Hold it up here. Feel with your fingers until you almost can't touch it. And let it drop. Gives you some softness and some movement.
always put your fingers through it and not a brush after you curl it. The brush will just give it some almost 80s looking, like it's brushed through, it's, it's not textured at all. If you put your fingers through it, it won't have that. So three, just three big sections. Doesn't have to be precise. Your hair's done already, you're just giving it some movement here. Again, up, away from the scalp, not down. Start to curl right at the base and move until it's all just lightly, you lightly lift with this. You lightly lift, just lightly, lightly, lightly lift, 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 so it's not pulling your hair, but you can move it until it's all in. Feel until you almost can't touch it. Let it drop. There you have it. Just give your hair a little more movement and uh, texture. So, two last things. This is what I use on my hair wet the night before. Wash it, condition when it's wet. Spray this on, pull it through with your fingers or, or with a brush. Sleep on it and then you're ready to go the next day. Your hair's gonna feel like butter. It's gonna be so soft. You almost won't need to brush it. It's gonna be very, very easy to comb through. Um, my next trick is just out of the kitchen. Coconut oil. I keep a little bit in my bathroom. I use it for everything. You just literally put a teeny, teeny bit on your finger and smear that all over the tips of your fingers. Make sure it's nice and even. If it's not, you're gonna get a clump of grease. Don't touch the top at all. Just pull through evenly. Pinch the bottom of your hair. That gets the majority of it off of your finger where your hair is dry. This is your oldest hair. It's gonna be the most dry. So you pull that through. It's gonna give you shine. It's gonna give you texture. It's gonna make you feel good and smell good. Once it's almost off your hair, then you can kind of put your hands through. If your hair is thin, do not do this step you will look like a grease ball. There you have it, nice and shiny, healthy, and you're ready to go. Take it around your big girl earrings. Long hair looks good with big earrings. There you have it, ready to go. Please hit like and subscribe, and then I'm gonna show you on my next video how to keep your straight hair for days. If your hair is curly and you don't wanna wash it or heat it or do things to it every day, you can literally get up out of bed and head out and your hair will look good. So I'll teach you those in the next video. Please join me there. Thanks, bye.